Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a super exciting fashion video that will be talking about all the trends that you need to know for winter 2018-19. There's quite a bit. I simplified it for you guys because I've been looking at the runway. Half of those things I can wear on a daily basis, they lock me up. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Marshalls for collaborating and sponsoring this video. I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually partnered up with Marshalls and I was one of the guest judges on Stitched uh, last month, which is really exciting. If you guys didn't catch that episode, I'm gonna link in the description box. They actually created a dress for me. For me. It was really cool and the show is really cool concept it's a bunch of different designers that basically they get a challenge every single day and they basically have to have it done by the end of the day which is kind of nerve-wracking but i was really excited to be part of it so for today's video showing you the trends i wanted to actually uh, do a little challenge so stitch had an episode that was based on the mini me challenge where basically you take your children and you create a mini me of yourself yay obviously mini me so i got inspired and i grabbed jake and ben not grabbed i didn't grab them i asked jake i didn't ask them i told them i told jake and ben that they're gonna be my mini me's for two trends okay let's get to the trends So the first trend is the expressionist. The expressionist is really all about being like, ta-da, here I am. It's really all about mixing and matching colors, prints, textures to create a little more dramatic look to it where you can really show off your personality with this trend. And these are actually the colors that you will see working together really well. As you can see, the colors that I incorporated were red, plate that had some brown and reddish in it, and the dark dark green which I love and actually it's amazing to see how much of a versatile color it is you'll be seeing that color in a lot of the trends that I'll be talking about today don't be scared to be bold and a little bit out there even if you don't necessarily want to wear something so loud like an animal print mixing up those bold colors would really bring that a trend to life I will be expressing myself a lot this winter a lot this is actually a really exciting trend because i feel like we all sometimes fall into this black and white and black patterns in the winter so working with the colors in the expressionist will really give you an idea of how to combine all these colors together you also see jakey and benny i picked the plaid with a bold color uh, for them something that will really bring a bit of their funkiness out not that they need to i mean you can see look at those munchkins all of these clothes are from Marshalls where you can easily find all the trends that I'll be talking about for really, really affordable prices. And the second trend you'll be seeing quite a bit this winter is the elevated comfort. This is definitely one of my favorite, favorite trends for this season. And it's all about those luxe neatwear, neutral tones, bringing those cashmere feels with laid back fits, something that looks like you're so cozy and comfortable, but you're expensive AF, which I absolutely love. And this is a great way to bring that chicness and yet feel comfortable i feel like women when they're comfortable they are like confidence level is on another level and they look sexier so this is a great trend that all of us can incorporate into our wardrobe for me i chose these beautiful flowy pants that i found in marshall's and this cashmere sweater that looks so cozy and it is cozy and i'm gonna be living in it and this beautiful overcoat that's basically playing with the neutral colors a little bit of earth tones for the boys i took the blue and the beiges and the whites and brought those in as well it all feels and looks very light yet expensive and for the elevated comfort the colors you can play with for this season will be these colors you have the blues and the grays and the beiges and browns and a lot of calm colors that just make you feel zen the next trend you'll be seeing is classic revival and this is all about bringing that royal you out 
to the world. This is all about feminine textures, feminine colors, embroidery, lace, ruffles, really romantic, really feminine. In this trend, this is an example of a blouse that I found that really incorporates the embroidery, the beautiful textures, that feminine vibe that you can easily mix up with jeans or with leather pants or anything that can kind of bring a little contrast to it or just keep that vibe going with white pants or a skirt so this can really work either way we're basically trying to look like a character from shakespeare plays for those colors, I mean, that's pretty easy. You guys can really concentrate on those deep, beautiful, rich colors that are romantic and feminine and make you feel all warm inside. And the last but not least, and one of my absolute favorites because I've been wearing it forever, is menswear. This season, this is not a men's world anymore, okay? This is a woman's world. Women who steal men's clothes, yeah. That's the world I want to live in. So this is all about oversized fits, masculine patterns and textures and suit pants. You just go with it. Step into your boyfriend slash husband slash the guy you hook up with closet and grab your favorite pieces and just run with it and literally run out of the closet because if he'll see it he'll be like hey but i want to wear it and then you have to do this like don't you know valeria said menswear is in trend right now just take it and run so in this look i found these beautiful suit pants that have blues and whites and blacks in it so it has a more feminine tone to it and i paired it with this beautiful cashmere sweater that i also found at marshall's the trick with men's wear is to make sure that the fit is right so even if you're wearing those big oversized pants you want to make sure that they are tighter on the waist that they bring shape to your body that the blazers that you're wearing you don't drown in them so make sure to notice those little things that will really make a huge difference and make it look chic rather than not chic. For me, I've been mixing masculine and feminine for a long time. That's kind of my style. So I love pairing those manly and masculine looking items with the more feminine stuff. If it's even a big oversized sweater and a men's suit pants, you can wear it with beautiful heels. Just something that will bring that little like... Mm -hmm. And these are the four main, main trends that I really wanted to share with you and simplify it for you because there's quite a bit going on on the runways you see a lot of glossy wear a lot of uh, neons a lot of metallic colors i'm not a huge fan of it because personally it doesn't work for me but those will definitely will be around for this season as well so you guys can check that out and honestly my biggest tip for winter to make sure that you look chic and still comfortable is layers it's all about the layers you can build such depth into even a simple outfit if you're wearing a bun down put a turtleneck under it and then a blazer it gives that like really cool calculated look overcoats is something that i am a big fan of and you don't actually have to buy expensive i found some of these that i wore to show you at marshall's for an amazing price so those are always fun to play around you can bring different colors in even if you're wearing a plain kind of outfit putting a fun overcoat on top of it or just like a different color will really bring something to the outfit scarves hats any accessories will really jazz up an outfit and make you feel like you're not just wearing black and grays every single day out this is it you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you are wearing any of these trends and you want to like take a really cool outfit of the day of yourself and send it to me i love that you guys can dm me on instagram anytime i'm obsessed with your outfit of the day pictures if you want to see more of the episode for the mini me challenge I'm linking everything below in the description box. No more coffee for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.